All right, guys, we're looking at back supersets in an exercise economy, picking two exercises to pair together that aren't arbitrary, but rather complementary. So what we're gonna look at today, is we're gonna look at back training through the lens of thoracic spine mobility, right? How can promoting flexion extension of thoracic spine improve the outcomes of training the muscles that act around the spine, right? So that's gonna be our lats, that's gonna be our rhomboids, that's gonna be our traps, upper, lower, and mid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in our A1 series, we're gonna start with a Swiss bar pullover, improving that thoracic extension, leveraging perpendicular to the bench, and really using that eccentric load to the length and position of the lats to improve thoracic extension. Then we're gonna go into a, a fully flexed chest supported dumbbell row. And that's gonna really promote us now activating from a flex position into that fully extended position that we've just reinforced using that pullover motion. We're not just slapping two exercises together for the sake of it, there is a, a very distinct purpose for putting these two exercises in the sequence that we have them and the second order benefit to this other than being just two great exercises is going to be mobility around the thoracic spine right there's so much energy expended from a prehab standpoint from a rehab standpoint around thoracic spine mobility where a lot of times it's just about loading in proper sequence in proper position so that's really what we're going to focus on here today so we're going to do the swiss bar pullover and then we're going to walk through the chest supported dumbbell row with our emphasis really being on the position of that thoracic spot. All right guys, so Swiss bar pullover, what we're gonna look at, we're gonna factor in grip position. I'm gonna grab on the semi-supinated grips, which have my hands kind of facing uh, inward like this. If you don't have the option, the neutral will do. It'll just set a better, uh, it'll set a better rotation at the shoulder to use your lats to actually extend. Second from there, we wanna make sure that we're grabbing at an adequate width, right? This is where dumbbell pullovers really fail. They're too narrow, they're too narrow, and they set our shoulders in an internally rotated position by pronating our wrist. This is not a great moment for our lats to be able to extend the shoulder. So we're gonna settle down into the position. We're gonna apex kind of that mid thoracic spine on the bench. We're gonna grab in that semi-supinated position. We're gonna pull up into the shoulders, drop back into the bench keeping our hips low. Hips low, elbows tucked in, and we think about really driving that thoracic extension over the bench. Really trying to keep those elbows tucked in. We try and work our lats to extend the shoulder while improving that thoracic extension. All right guys, so A2, we're gonna move into the chest supported dumbbell row. First key is have your feet a little bit further forward than you're used to, right? This is gonna allow for the greatest amount of thoracic flexion as we sort of drop that sternum over the bench and allow for our shoulder blades to really pull around our rib cage. Now from here, what we're gonna do is we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together. Once we've reached the end range of that scapular retraction, then we're gonna to start to drive our elbows back thinking about pulling our sternum off the bench. That's gonna be where that thoracic extension comes in. All right, so we just went over the Swiss bar, improving the thoracic extension using the pullover. Now we're gonna activate into that extended position, trying to drive more through our rhomboids and our middle traps through greater range of motion uh, afforded to us at the thoracic bar. So it's gonna look like this. Mid sternum, allow the dumbbells to drop, shrug, so squeeze those shoulder blades together, drive those elbows back pulling those, that sternum off the bench into that extended thoracic spine position. All right guys, so that is a back superset with the primary focus being on maximizing range of motion through the thoracic spine. Thoracic spine mobility can be a huge rate limiter in our ability to train muscles effectively. By pairing these two exercises together, they're not only just gonna be allow for greater density in the session, they're gonna allow for greater position and execution of movements within that workout. So we, to recap, went through the Swiss bar pullover, perp perpendicular to the bench, elbows tucked in, hips low, driving that thoracic extension with the eccentric load in the lat, jumping right into the chest supported row, uh, using the dumbbells, going through global flexion extension and really trying to exaggerate that extended position, which we just improved using the pullover prior. Uh, so guys, give it a shot. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.